Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be proving the uh, sine power reducing identity, which is this one right here on the screen. So if you want to know how to prove this, uh, then uh, stick around. Okay, so how do we prove this? The first thing we have to remember is that note that here we have cosine 2a in the mix and we also have sine squared a. There is another identity that we know that also is very similar to this, right? And that identity is the double angle identity for cosine, that cosine of 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. So we're going to recall that this is a truth we know we know of, and we're going to use it in order to prove the, uh, the power reducing identity. So given that this is the case, we also, and I'll also uh, consider the Pythagorean identity, the fact that cosine squared a plus sine squared a is equal to one, and that that implies that um, one minus cos squared a is equal to sine squared a, and also that one minus sine squared a is equal to cos squared a. Because at the end of the day, we want to take this original identity here, the um, cosine double angle identity, but we want it only in terms of sine squared a, right? We, we want the cosine squared a to be gone. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually sub this in. I'm going to say state that cosine of 2a is equal to one minus sine squared a. I'm replacing that uh, cos squared a with that. And then minus sine squared a. So therefore, I'm going to get that cosine of 2a is equal to one minus two sine squared a. And then I'm just going to um, I'm just going to solve for sine squared a. So I'm going to subtract one from both sides to get that uh, cos of 2a minus 1 is equal to negative 2 sine squared a. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2 to get that sine squared a is equal to the negative version of cos 2a or sorry, I wrote cos squared a there, I meant cos 2a minus 1 all over 2. And that means that sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a. I wrote squared a again, sorry about that, cos 2a over 2. And then if we look back at the top, that is indeed what we were sorting, you know, what we've sought out to prove there. Uh, any questions, please leave those in the comment section, and we'll see you for the next one.